There you go, baby. Stay back. Nope. Whoa. All right. Just. And. Poor pretty commander, my sweet, sweet commander. What shall be thy fate? Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. I'm here once again with my black booty. I'm just, you know, want to know something. I'm just happy that you got another black beauty. That's right. That's right. There it goes. Now you got two black booties. What, black booty? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, she used to be beautiful, but uh, we got this damage over here. If you didn't know, it got uh, rear-ended while it was parked in front of my house, and it's got, uh, well, a lot of damage. It does not drive. Oh, it kind of does drive, but not very well. It could barely even roll out of the driveway, as you can see from the intro. So what I want to do is see what this thing is going to need to get it rolling properly. Uh, of course, the back axle, well, that's a given. It looks like it's been candy caned, but uh, I'm going to go through this thing, find out what's good, what I can save, uh, what's bad, what's going to have to be replaced, and I'll just pick through this thing, grab little parts here and there, and uh, I'll see if I got to scrap this thing or I'll see if I can save it. I really want to save it because it's got a Hemi, with only a hundred thousand miles and it runs really good. Man, that still sounds really good. So yeah, I'm gonna do what I can to get this thing rolling, uh, running and driving, well it already runs, runs really good. So I wanna keep this engine, uh, I want it to roll. I can't put it on the road because I'd have to fix it and get a salvage title for it. I'm not gonna go through that trouble. I just wanna get it to go down the road straight uh, so I could put it in my storage facility. So if I ever need a engine for my new commander, which has 200,000 miles on it, I'll be ready to go. I'll just drive the old commander with the smashed body right up to where I want to do the engine swap and I'll be ready to go. This thing also has still, oh, I locked myself out when I auto started it. Wow, well, got the key in my pocket, so we're good. This thing also has an excellent interior still. I gotta do a dash swap and a seat swap. I already did the door cards, so when I'm done with this thing, somebody could have themselves a gorgeous, nice uh, taupe, taupe and khaki overland interior. So yeah, I'll give you a good deal on that. All right, so let's dig into this thing. Gonna jack this thing up nice and safely on jack stands and blocks, and then uh, we'll tear into this thing. All right, let's do it. end is up right where it should be all right the rear is up blocks in the front just do a little safety check make sure it's not gonna crush us yeah I'm not budging and uh, a little prayer for safety and I think we can get started tearing this down I'm gonna take off the wheels Save the center cap. All right, guys, driver side rear seems pretty good. Um, brakes are a little rusty, but it hasn't been driven in months. I did these brakes last year, so these should be good. Still got a lot of meat on the pads. Just a little surface rust, no biggie. Everything else seems all right over here. Not too big a deal. Let's check out the other side. Now, besides the obvious impact zone, oh man, look at this. Carnage. 
<laughs> we got a uh, we got a decent brake rotor over here, decent pad, but my word, look at this! Look at the shock, completely bent. Ugh, nasty. And let's see. Oh my goodness! Look at that lower control arm. That is bent. Wow. Look at that upper control arm. See that behind the spring? That is bent in. What else? The track bar. Is the track bar bent? I figured the track bar would be bent. That's actually not too bad. Track bar is not too bad. But man, look at the axle. The axle is bent in. Let's take a look from underneath. Viola. Wow, holy smokes, look at this. Looks like the axle tubes were pulled out from the center pumpkin a little bit. Look at that, leaking all through there. And it's been pulled out on this side too. Leaking on this side, wow, look at that. Oh, Yahoo, look at that. Yep, I'd say she's done for, cracked. Nasty. This is the front of the rear on the driver's side. Dang. Fiona, come. Come on. Come on, girl. It's my girl. And the driver's side doesn't have that much damage from uh, axle to center pumpkin, but the uh, oh, these control arms sure are shot. All right, I'm gonna start stripping this thing down. Let's see what else I can find. All right, caliper came off pretty nice. So far, so good. Also wrestled out the ABS sensor. That's always a pain. And uh, this, this is annoying. Don't need this anymore. That's busted. Damn! Scrap pile. Now that the rear sway bar is out of the way, we'll just hang up our calipers on the bolts. There. Save these bad boys for later. All right, I'm just gonna keep getting things out of my way. This is the tire pressure monitoring system. This piece was just blasted right off its perch. Uh, so yeah, um, I don't know if this um, sensor is good anymore, but uh, you know what? Let's just take the whole thing off, wires and all. We'll just pinch this in and push it through. We could put this in the save pile. Hey, look, we got some clear plastic. I wonder if this was the bad guy's headlight. Headlight, turn signal marker. I don't know. <laughs> piece of crap. Garbage pile. More headlight. All right, I'm gonna remove this vent clipped onto the axle for now. You know what? It Vented itself plenty when it cracked in two or three. But you know what? I might have to take off the spring to get to it. We'll see. How am I gonna get in there? That's what he said. <laughs> I can't be in your videos. I can't do this. This is it's impossible. Unfortunately, that's what he said. It's impossible. No serious conversations anymore.
dropped. Dropped like a bad habit. <laughs> There we go guys, not too bad. The body is, uh, I would say, intact, if you will, except for <laughs> cosmetic stuff. But yeah, it shouldn't take too much to get it rolling again, like a real Jeep. Oh boy, and there is the rear end. This Chrysler eight and a quarter is definitely bent, golly. Now I did not put it on widescreen. It is a straight and level shot. And dang, man, this thing's more crooked than a service manager at a dealership. Yahoo. Well, dang, guys, that rear end sure is bent. But I do believe this damage assessment was a worthwhile endeavor because I don't think I need too many parts to get this here XK back on the road well, driving again. Uh, just need a straight rear end. I'm going to see if my local junkyard can find it. I'm going to hit up Peconic Auto Wreckers. Um, this is a Chrysler 8 and a quarter open diff. I'll see if they have a Verilock. And if I ever need a new Verilock for this thing, I'll have one ready to go. So I think it could be a good idea to buy new parts. I'll just put the new parts on that commander and I'll use the used parts from that commander to get this one as a uh, decent, reliable uh, roller. And uh, yeah, I'll of course have a 5.7 Hemi ready to go if I ever need that too. So yeah, I might invest in some parts and uh, I'll get back to you guys when I have everything we need and we'll do a rear axle installation. So we'll see what I could find and uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next project. Peace.